Oh, a real quick uh, platform overview of MailChimp and where things are. When you first log into MailChimp, it will bring you to your dashboard and you can always go back to your dashboard by clicking on the MailChimp icon here. MailChimp dashboard will give you some, uh, some overall statistics and reports on your accounts, such as the, oh, the, the, the growth um, and the campaign status, uh, things like that. There are some tips available dotted around. They will change depending on how you use the platform. Um, and some shortcuts at the bottom there. So what we've got over on the right hand side is this feedback button so we can give feedback directly to, to MailChimp. In the top right corner we've got a search function and this will enable us to search through our account. We can search for everything, we can search for campaigns, we can search for contacts. So if you're looking for a particular campaign or you're looking for a particular person on your list, um, we can type some details in here and do a search. Um, and there is an advanced search uh, available as well. Help will take you to the MailChimp knowledge base so you can start searching um, if you need help for something, if you need to work something else, if something's not working, you can have a look in the MailChimp knowledge base there. And we've got our account details up on the right hand side. So if we go to the drop down, we can see we've got a, a notifications area. So if MailChimp sends us a notification, then you'll see a notification pop up here. You'll see a little uh, red circle pop up with a number in with a number of notifications. And your notifications are here, and then you can acknowledge them or find out more there. Uh, the profile and the account are pretty much identical. So this is the profile uh, section. As you can see, we've got overview settings, clients, billing, extras, integrations, and we've got the account section. Again, overview settings, clients, billing, extras, and integrations. Basically, these are pretty much the same. The overview gives us slightly different uh, statistics to look at and uh, tells us about any account issues. But basically, we've got here, we can go over um, settings for our accounts we can see our details and change our username password uh, see it sorts out our contact information our domains all that sort of stuff uh, we can see billing details there's extras where we can uh, see our mailchimp rewards if, if we're collecting rewards from the mailchimp logo at the bottom uh, we can see our api keys where we can create an api key so we can integrate another uh, platform to use to, to share data within MailChimp. Uh, we can see integrations and we can connect to different um, platforms here. We've also got a connected sites tab and we can connect to different sites here. So if you've got a WooCommerce e commerce store, you can connect it there. Uh, you can link your website. So when you link these, it shares data, it allows uh, MailChimp and your platform to seamlessly share data um, so you can use it within MailChimp, you can use it to trigger certain uh, emails or automations in, in MailChimp. Uh, so that's how we connect them. Uh, we've got this create button so we can go on and then create campaigns. We can see the different options of campaigns that we've got here. And then over on the left hand side, uh, obviously we've got the the MailChimp button that takes us back to our dashboard. We've got the campaigns tab. And what we can do in here is see our recent campaigns that we've been working on. We can see ongoing campaigns. These are campaigns that we've created and are still in use. So like landing pages, email automations, things are still working for us. Draft campaigns. These are campaigns that we've started making but not completed. We've not made them live, they're not actually out there, they've not been sent. Um, and we've got completed campaigns. These are campaigns such as a regular email that once sent, it's been sent, it's got no further use. Um, so that is then complete. Uh, but what we can do with those is we can replicate them and then send them again. So they, they still have use, so they'll be stored in the completed uh, tab there. At the bottom, we've got options of creating folders and using folders. And we can use this just mainly for sort of management of our campaigns. 
So if we've got a campaign related to doing a course, uh, so the landing page, the email automations, um, any emails that have gone out relevant to that sort of area of your business, then we can create a folder, call it sort of my course, and we can store the campaigns related to that in there. So that's, uh, that's really, really handy for management uh, of our campaigns. Templates. We will create some templates a little bit later on. And when we do create templates, we can see what templates we've got stored here. Audience. So our audience, we can see some data on our audience. We can see um, once we've got some audience here, we can see a bit more data and get some insights, get some reports on our audience that tell us some more information. Um, and that's where we'll see that information. If we click on view contact. That's where it will give us a list of our audience. We'll see our audience here in a list. Um, obviously, once it's populated, you'll see a lot more there. Um, there are extra things we can do here, sort of stats, manage contacts. There's, there's lots of different things we can do with our contacts here, uh, from viewing contacts, archiving, uh, viewing archive contacts, setting up groups to put contacts into, uh, viewing segments and tags, which we go over later, uh, exporting contacts, and so on. We can add contacts individually or we can import contacts here. Sign up forms we're going to look over later on um, and list settings or audience settings as they're now called. We can change our audience settings here. So that is things like um, the audience names, um, whether that list or whether that audience uses double opt-in, whether that audience uses the GDPR setting. Um, all these settings for that, they're, they're there. And things like publicity settings or so all, all the public information for that that, that audience is there um, your required email content things like that that's that's all settings related to that audience um, which may differ differ from a different audience if you do have multiple audiences uh, for multiple businesses so your information may be different uh, such as your your business address if you've got two businesses two audiences uh, two different business addresses and obviously two different names. Your settings are going to be different uh, for your different businesses, depending on what those businesses are. So that's where you change your settings uh, for your audiences. Uh, reports. When we go to reports, we basically get some information about our campaign reports. Uh, we haven't created any campaigns yet, our regular email campaigns. Uh, they haven't been created yet, so we've got nothing to see here. We can, if you're an upgraded, if you're a premium uh, paid account user, um, you can do a comparative report, comparing um, different campaigns to each other. Um, automation, so any automated sequences that we've got going on, we can see the performance of those. And MailChimp landing pages, not external MailChimp, not external landing pages, just MailChimp landing pages. Uh, how those landing pages are doing um, performance rise, and, and we can get some extra details and view reports from there. Uh, the content studio, finally. Um, so this is basically where we store content for use in our in our uh, in, in our emails and landing pages, such as images, uh, PDF documents, things like that. We can upload these files, upload these images or files, uh, just here. And pick a file and once we've uploaded them you will see them in the my files section and then once we create an email as you'll see later on uh, we can just add those quite easily if you are linked to an e-commerce store such as woocommerce uh, you do have this products tab and you will see all your products here uh, all the products available on your store will show up and again we can use that like an image we can Add it to an email or a, or a landing page quite easily, um, because it's it's there, it's synced, and it gets the information off your website. Uh, Giphy or Jiffy, you can add gifs or gifs to your emails if you so wish. It's not something I use, but the option is there. Instagram, if you are connected to your Facebook page or, and your link and your Instagram account then you will see your Instagram photos here and you can use your Instagram images 
in your um, in, in your emails and landing pages too. My logo, we will go over defining what my logo is, uh, so we'll come back to that a little bit later on. So that's it for the overview, quite brief. Um, just to give you a sort of brief idea of where everything is, so you can find your way around um, and see, you know, if you need to change something, you know where that setting is. Um, so yeah, that's the overview complete. So we'll move on to the next module.